Hi everybody. This is a phone case for my iPhone 6S that I picked up on Amazon for about $10. It comes in a clear plastic bag. Here's the Amazon part number. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. So it said that this one does come with a screen protector, and I guess it's one of these stick-on ones. I actually thought from the description that the screen protector was built into the case. Huh, look at that, and it actually is. <laughs> so I don't know why they give you two. Uh, if there's already one in here, I don't really see the reason why I need to install that one, so I probably won't. Now, from what I could have told by the pictures online, I thought this was kind of a knockoff of like an OtterBox, and I think it is. Yeah, because it has this like rubbery outside case and the plastic hard shell inside case. Wow, this is really hard to get off. Mm, whatever rubber material this is, it's definitely not as good as the OtterBox material. So, here's my OtterBox case for my Pixel 5, and this thing is really nice and soft and pliable, and then of course a regular plastic. This kind of feels the same. It has similar little clips, like the OtterBox. Hopefully these don't break. Ooh boy, these are gonna be tricky to open, I think. Yeah, they're opening. It's not bad, <laughs> but this is definitely a knockoff. Yeah, it's a little bit flimsier. Yeah, and it has some cheap stick-in liner. I mean, this has a stick-in liner also, but at least it's pressed down and sealed all the way. Yeah, this has all the little darts in it and stuff. And it looks like there's a sticker underneath of that. Let us investigate. Now, it's not a sticker. It's something in the mold. Uh, it's like a mold ID number. Huh, look at that, www.otterbox.com IP. So I wonder, I mean, this was not, this was definitely not marketed as an Otterbox. I wonder if they copied it and even left the Otterbox information in the mold. Huh. Oh, well, anyway. Maybe it's actually an Otterbox and someone just returned it and then someone else was selling it on Amazon. I don't know. Anyway, here's my iPhone 6S. So just kind of clean it off real quick. I'll place it into the case. Yeah. That part looks okay. Okay, it's snapping together. You can see the power button. Ooh. All right, here's an issue. Uh, it's closing. Hmm. It feels like there might be an issue right here. I don't know if this is... Yeah, there's something making a noise right there. Come on, buddy. Mm. All right, hold on. I need to get something to open that with. All 
All right, I don't think it's on this side. I wonder if it's right here. I wonder if it's the thickness of that mold information. I wonder if that's actually putting a slight amount of thickness into the case and not allowing it to close properly. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I think that might be it. All right, well, let's see about this. I mean, it's basically assembled. It's a little bit, a little bit non-compliant down here on the bottom. We try to put the case on and see if that. All right, so that's not gonna be the way to do it. I'm gonna have to put this bottom in first. This is like one of the longest phone case videos I think I've ever done. Usually they're pretty straightforward, but usually I'm doing otter boxes. Okay. Yeah, this is really a lot harder than the otter box. Okay, so there we go. It's on. I really hope my power cord is going to fit through there. That's huh, somewhat narrow. What's that? Headphone jack. I'm probably not going to use that. Yeah, I mean, you know, other than the weird fitment down here, which actually is not too bad now that the case is assembled. And my concerns, and my concern about the thinness of that slot for the power cord. Other than that, looks pretty good. So yeah. Now this of course I'm not gonna use because this already has a built-in screen protector, so why bother? And yeah, what's all this? How to use case Facebook Yudong Rui dot Yudong Carbon Neutral. Okay, and that's like instructions on how to work. Instructions on how to work the case. Pull up the charging port cover. Okay. And again, here's the Amazon part number for what I bought. So yeah, not too bad. As long as my power cord fits, I think this is not a bad case. So pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.